you have to discuss the pollen grain structure and their function when you consider pollen grain it is a first stage of male gametophyte composed of haploid vegetative cell and generative cell therefore pollen grain <coughs> is called first stage of male gametophyte it is composed of haploid large vegetative cell and haploid small generative cell in most of the plants the pollen grain set in two cell stage that is what we call generative cell and vegetative cell sometimes it may uh, shed off in three cell stage at that time one vegetative cell is there generative cell developed as a two sperms hence the one vegetative cell two sperms together form three cells then when a microsporogenesis is take place at that time these pollen grains are present in a four intact form we call spore tetraditis they may separate singly and form pollen grain at that time they are called simple pollen grain if they remain intact at that time such pollen grains we called compound pollen grains for example in case of anona squamosa that is custard apple now sita pollen there alli compound pollen grains anta adhe new calotropis anta undaga that is uh, generally we have a bag like structure that is called the name pollinia in that pollinia pollen grains are usually present hence here this uh, the bag like pollinia lifted by the insect and carries to the opposite flower in such a way pollen grain may form in simple form where all the pollen four pollen grains separated and uh, they form individual pollen grain or they may be intact that what we call the compound pollen grain in case of calotropis that is generally what happens the pollen grains present in a bag like structure that is called the leaf pollinia if you consider the size of the pollen grain it is 25 to 50 micron in diameter then study of pollen grains we call palynology the study of pollen grains we call palynology where we can study the definition of pollen grain size of the pollen grain structure of the pollen grain then bee pollen pollen allergy pollen grain viability if you consider the star of the pollen grain it is generally covered by two coverings one is exine another one in time if you analyze the a structure of the pollen grain the exine is a outermost covering of the 
a pollen grain it is uh, made up of a special what we called the a chemical its name is sporopollenin this sporopollenin secreted by the tapetal cell it has a resistance against enzymes a resistance against alkali resistance against acids even they cannot be undergo degradation hence the sporopollenin can even very easily undergo fossilization hence still today the many pollen grains we uh, obtain from the earth crust as a fossil because of presence of sporopollenin and this sporopollenin absent in certain area that area is called germ pore see here in this diagram it is a enzyme here and there there is no deposition of what a sporopollenin that place is called germ pore through that germ pore pollen tube emerges during pollen grain germination then if you consider a inner layer it is in time it is made up of cellulose and pectin and this cellulose and pectin both together uh, form cellopectidase layer and next uh, to the in time there is a presence of thin plasma membrane each uh, a pollen grain having two cells one large vegetative cell another small generative cell vegetative cell is haploid in nature having large vacuole with prominent nucleus and dense cytoplasm it nourish the what generative cell then generative cell is a smaller in size haploid in nature and contain less cytoplasm it divides to form two sperms later during what a development of male gametophyte so far we explain pollen grain definition then what do we mean by palynology pollen grain size and pollen grain structure now we consider what is pollen allergy generally in our syllabus we have three terms one is general allergy and second common cold third one pollen allergy for all these uh, three important uh, disease symptoms are remain same if you take uh, pollen allergy there are several what is as a plants a produce pollen grains they pollinate by wind we called anemophily pollination by wind what we call anemophily the anemophilous pollen grains generally causes a disease called one pollen allergy sometimes other respiratory disease like asthma and even bronchitis also we know the specially uh, in asthma there is a inflammation of alveoli is take place bronchitis inflammation of the bronchioles or respiratory tree is take place the most commonest plant which causes the specially a pollen allergies parthenium that we also called carrot grass commonly now kannada dola adana pudari kasa atho kangres kasa anthe heltu carrot grass that mainly causes maximum pollen allergy then if you take uh, the symptoms of uh, pollen allergy the person showing sneezing sneezing andre sinud anthe heltu no nasal congestion andre mug gach aagibittadu adu then nasal discharge the mucus discharge it may be watery or thick mucus discharge may take place from the nasal tract then irritation in throat andre namma gantlu kerasta irutadu then sore throat even sometimes there may be a 
reddening of eyes as well as tearing andre front kempu agirthave amale kannir varthirthade tearing and even it uh, may causes a budging of ears andre kivi gach aagibittirthu ee same symptoms now even uh, allergy adalodu helthivu common cold condition da andre overall this is what we called upper respiratory tract infection with respect to the pollen grain once again one more term we have to discuss that is pollen grain viability the different plants showing the pollen grain viability it depends on a particular species for example species like wheat rice the survival of pollen grain or viability of pollen grain in terms of just 30 minutes only if you take the plants like the rosaceae then uh, composite amoeber as well as in case of solanaceae in these uh, what is as a plants up to 3 months the pollen grain can be survived therefore in a artificial plant breeding technique today we can preserve pollen grain by a cryo preservation technique it is a specialized artificial method of pollen grain preservation where pollen grains are preserved under nutri nutrient medium uh, with uh, what liquid nitrogen as a the base under a minus 196 degree centigrade temperature therefore it is not refrigeration it is a cryo preservation even by cryo preservation technique we can preserve pollen grains and these pollen grains can be used for a hybridization technique or plant breeding technique at the same time it can able to preserve the semen of a bull desired bull that we can used for artificial insemination other animal breeding technique at the same time we can preserve even the a semen of uh, a human beings and that we used for different uh, a artificial the reproductive techniques like test tube baby technique gift all that one in such a way the pollen grains can be preserved by specialized preservation technique lastly with respect to the pollen grain one more uh, important term is there bee pollen the pollen grain are rich in nutrient therefore in the western countries they are used as a the best what you say energy drink or supplementary a food therefore they used in body builders as well as used to give for race horse and also a sportsman uh, mainly so the athletes they, because they helps to boost the energy right.